When a narcissist sees you as being too strong, this is what they'll do. Narcissists desire nothing more than to be in a position of power and control. These individuals have a great need to exert authority and command over the people in their surroundings, including their spouses, co-workers, and friends. This need drives them to behave dominantly and aggressively. So, why do people act in such a manner? Because they don't have the impression that they're in control of the situation, and because they're unclear about what to do, they will attempt anything that has a chance of being successful. There are a lot of people who have been in violent, abusive relationships that have continued for a very long time with narcissists. Both codependency and narcissism are characterized by an obsession with achieving power and authority over other people. They're going to make an effort to control you regardless of whether or not they believe that you will be an easy or tough target for them. We will take a look at some of the strategies that narcissists use to get rid of people they view as a threat to them. These are the individuals who are not readily swayed by the opinions of others. They're powerful and self-reliant individuals and individuals who have developed in both their thinking and deeds. But before I get into that, I just wanted to start off by expressing my appreciation to everyone who took the time to watch this video. I'd like to extend to you an invitation to contribute to the growth of this channel by forwarding this video to any of your friends or family members. Subscribe to this channel if this is your first time here so that you don't miss out on any future updates that you might find interesting. Let's begin. Narcissists have difficulty accepting people for who they truly are, and as a result, they have a tendency to treat other people poorly. People that aren't easily influenced, give off an air of confidence, have a healthy sense of self-esteem, and are generally well-grounded are the ones who make these people feel threatened. The fact that this is the case doesn't deter them from pursuing the individuals in question. There is no such thing as a whitelist when it comes to dealing with people who are narcissists. Those who are vulnerable, and even those who are powerful, will be the focus of their invasion. The methods by which they interact with people are what sets them apart. The narcissist's ultimate goal is to destroy everything that stands in their way, and to achieve this goal, they will stop at nothing. Narcissists are people who believe that the only way to improve their own self-esteem is to bring down the self-esteem of those around them. Even though some of us are smart and tenacious, and even though it's possible that we won't cave into the love bombing that they're throwing at us, they're still intent on convincing us to comply with their demands. Because of this, we need to keep in mind that although narcissists like to employ love bombing to bring others under their control, they also have a range of other ways at their disposal. This is something that we need to keep in mind at all times. When people realize that flattery and charm aren't enough to win someone's favor, it's not uncommon for them to play the victim in order to earn your sympathy. For instance, it's not uncommon for people to play the victim in order to garner your sympathy. Narcissistic people care very little about how other people feel about them as a result of their actions or words. At this point, all they require is something to work with in order to move on. As a consequence of this, they are willing to make do with everything they can get their hands on, regardless of whether it is love, adoration, pity, or hatred. Because of the mental and emotional investment you have made in them, it demonstrates that they're significant to you and plays a role in the trajectory of your life. As a consequence of this, if they're successful in making you feel sorry for them, they will continue to use this tactic and will likely sprinkle some flattery and charm on top of it for good measure. If they're successful in making you feel sorry for them, then they have accomplished their goal. Therefore, the narcissist's last-ditch effort to gain control over us and make us agree to their will is to appeal to our pity and make us feel sorry for them. This is the narcissist's last-ditch effort to acquire control over us and make us conform to their will. In order to avoid going to work, they would dishonestly declare that they were ill or suffering from a disease. In addition to this, they might deliberately hurt themselves in order to attract your attention to the shenanigans that they are engaging in. It is not uncommon for them to get combative and insist that you're the only person who can assist them in any way. They will proceed to reiterate the same thing. Narcissists are excellent actors and actresses because they believe that this is the only way for them to reach the level of control that is necessary for them. When confronted with the reality that you are more powerful, they will come as feeble. They will look weak and submissive in an effort to win your trust and gain your confidence. 
Narcissists want to maintain control over their victims so that they can bring about the victim's destruction. Because of this, it is possible for them to turn around and force you into the ditch, despite the fact that you helped them get out of the ditch in the first place. This is because of the way that the ditch is constructed. The goal of a person with a narcissistic personality disorder is to exert absolute dominance and control over others at all times, regardless of the circumstances or the consequences. Therefore, in order to get you to fall for their scheme, they will act as though they're either hopelessly in love with you or a helpless victim. They receive a skewed perception of their own self-worth and an inflated sense of superiority as a result of the massive boost to their self-esteem that results from bringing another powerful person to their knees. After extracting as much useful information as they could from you, they would do it with great zeal and then cast you aside once they had finished using you. Even if they're unsuccessful in getting what they want by flattering others, being charming, or playing the role of the victim, the narcissist will not give up. If they are unable to exercise influence on you and bring you to your knees in an indirect manner, then they have just one option left open to them. On the other side, the narcissist has a more limited toolbox to work with in this scenario. The reason for this is that they didn't spend enough time getting to know you to discover any hidden flaws or secrets that you might have. As a result, you have little choice but to prioritize the people who are in close proximity to you physically. Everyone has the possibility to be taken in by another person, and narcissists will make use of that potential in order to either get access to your life or simply learn more about you. They would pursue a relationship with a member of your family or circle of close friends who is very important to you. Their main objective is to make you uncomfortable and turn other people against you by winning the favor of everyone in your inner circle. To accomplish this, they must first win your favor. They have only one goal in mind, and that is to turn the people against you. Because you've turned down their overcures in the past, the people who want to take advantage of you are now more prepared than ever to do so in the future. The narcissist will never be content with simply disliking you in the future, betraying you, or abandoning you. They will always want more. Participation is required from all of the people in your environment, including yourself. As a consequence of this, they seize every opportunity to spread untruths and engage in slanderous conversations about other people. They do this intentionally in order to sow the seeds of conflict and to cast aspersions on the character of another individual. They're the kind of employees who will not stop at anything until they get you removed from your position and replaced with someone else. Someone like this might make up allegations against you, claiming that you're guilty of actions that you didn't actually commit. When a narcissist realizes that you have more popularity and respect than they do, they will become obsessed with finding ways to knock you down and make themselves look better. They will act in this manner because they are terrified of the things that you will do to them. The ultimate goal of the narcissist is to maintain complete control at all times. They're willing to engage in any dishonest or unethical behavior, such as stealing, lying, or cheating, in order to achieve their goal of achieving dominance and taking control of your life. It is extremely irritating for narcissists when other people are more successful than they are. They despise it when other people are able to see through the false personas and identities that they have constructed for themselves. They despise it when we are wise to their tricks and traps and don't fall for them. They despise our autonomy, our ability to fend for ourselves, and the strong moral character we have. Because of this, they are attempting to steal our belongings, while at the same time destroying us in the process. The narcissist is prepared to take on the challenge of vanquishing you, regardless of how straightforward or complex of a target you may be for them. If they're unable to gain your favor through love bombs and victimization, they will most likely resort to underhanded tactics and solicit the assistance of your friend or family. Because of this, you need never let your guard down and always be on the lookout for their traps and strategies, regardless of how far you make it. A narcissist will never stop attempting to bring you down to their level. Exercise extreme caution, never let your guard down, and don't let anyone push you beyond your limits. I sincerely hope that the information that was provided was enlightening. Please share your opinions in the comment section below, and if you want to make sure that you don't miss any of the new videos that are uploaded to this channel in the future, consider subscribing and make sure that the bell icon is turned on. Thank you.